the first of the Bacchus Hospital employees to receive the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine today, a member of the environmental services team. Today, I feel proud. I feel happy because I believe in God. I believe in science. And it's fitting he was the first at Bacchus to receive the vaccine because, you see, he also helped service the room of the hospital's first COVID patient. He looked for my eyes. He maybe try to save me, help me. I don't want to pass away because I got a family. Then the patient started to cry. I cried too because I feel sad. So inside, I pray for him. Unfortunately, the man passed away. 30 frontline employees of Bacchus received the first round of the vaccine today, but they understand they're going to have to try to help convince other employees. I don't think this is a vaccine that was just developed overnight. I believe this is something, um, looking at the history that people have been working on for a long time and now is applicable to COVID-19. In her view, the risk of not being vaccinated is too big. We need to be done with this. We need to go back to, to taking care of people that have had surgery. Tonight, the hospital's president is holding a virtual town hall for the benefit of those on the fence. And I'm going to have some of our staff and physicians who were vaccinated today speak about their experience and how they feel and why it's important to them. Hartford HealthCare conducted a survey and only about 45% of all employees said they would immediately receive the vaccine when offered. We have our highest number of COVID patients right now than we've had through the whole pandemic. And 21 days after their first shot, it will be time for round two of this COVID-19 vaccine. Here in Norwich, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.